Did I not say the Women's National Championship game is the talk show gift that just keeps giving? Like it is, God, I mean, that is, I'm trying to think of an event, a non political event that has provided as many spin off issues, legitimate, interesting, compelling, controversial issues as LSU v. Iowa in basketball. You just never thought that would happen, but sure enough, it just keeps coming and coming and coming, and it's pretty freaking interesting. So, of course, we can you know sort of check the boxes off of what this game keeps giving you because we got a new one, another interesting debate. We've had issues of taunting, you know, sportsmanship, blah blah blah. When is taunting okay? When is it not okay? Everybody has an opinion about that. There's your sports talk hot take of the day, right? Race, of course. Sexism, of course. And now, you better add the political angle. Wow, did this go horribly wrong for Team Biden? I would submit to you, not intentionally horribly wrong, but. I think their age is showing. I think I think we got a grandma issue here. While Joe is having soup, I think grandma may have made a mistake. But you can take this however you want. Jill Biden, the first lady, went public in inviting both Iowa and LSU. She gave an explanation why she invited both Iowa and LSU. It was basically these girls have played so hard and it's such a great moment for women in women's sports. They both should come to the White House. It was like that. As I said, you can have a problem with me, but it was a grandma moment. Some people take it more than that. Columnist Cedric Golden had the great rhetorical question yesterday, and it hit me like a punch in the face. It should have hit you like a punch in the face, and said was about 20 hours too early on this one. I believe said, 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 said something like, would she be inviting Iowa if it wasn't a team of white girls? Something like that. Wait, yeah. Okay, audience. Would she be inviting Iowa, if it weren't a team of white girls, it's an issue. It's a fair point. I'm not quite sure I agree, but I'm a white guy from West Austin. So what's the political strategy? That's what I was thinking at the time, because I just assume every waking moment, whether you're 100 years old or you're 40 years old, whenever you're in office, the only thing you ever really care about, I assume, you may disagree, I assume is getting reelected. That's all, that's all you live for. You don't care. You'll run a bus over your grandmother to get reelected. So I thought, huh, this doesn't add up to me. This is not, what's the political strategy here? First of all, I thought, well, Joe is going to lose both of those states badly. He's got no chance whatsoever. He would lose those two states, Louisiana and Iowa, to the lovable indicted Republican nominee, D. Trump, in a heartbeat. He'd lose by double digits in both of those states. So what's the angle here? Right? He would. He will. Probably did. I haven't looked, but I'm sure he did lose those states by double digits. Then you'd say, but wrong, Jeff, if you were to scream back at me. That's not it, Jeff. Okay. I get it. That that part doesn't quite add up. So you scream back at me. No, no, you're wrong, Jeff. Um, I'm pretending you're screaming at me. So let's keep the political angle to this thing going for just a second. The lovable indicted Republican nominee will not win the female vote under 65. So if you're screaming back at me, you don't get the political optics of this, Jeff. Well, I'm going to turn it around to you. What were the political optics? It can't be that you think Joe having soup is going to win Iowa or that Joe having soup has any chance whatsoever in Louisiana. You know that, right? If not, take a look at the numbers. Ah, but Jeff... It's the female vote under 65, so there, there's Jill Biden's strategy at work. Okay, sure, I guess. I'm not sure it was that. I hate to give someone in politics a pass, but I'm not quite sure that was her angle. I'm finding something innocent here. Maybe you're not finding something innocent, but let's let it play out. The most recent problem, how this thing has evolved. I mean, it's going and it keeps going in these different directions. It's kind of cool. The star of the day 
Angel Reese, who is also now posting bikini pics on social media, and she looks great, she's gone all in with, we're not coming, old white people. No, we're not going to show up. Thanks, but no thanks. She <laughs> she even doubled down. She even doubled down with the, you know what we'll do? We'll go visit the Obamas. <laughs> That's what she doubled down with. Um, is it a bad look for the Bidens? You know, that, that comeback right there. Is it a bad look for Team Biden? I think so, yeah. Yeah, it is. I think it is. I think it's a pretty embarrassing look. Does this hurt old Joe's chances? I don't think it helps. Let me say that. I don't think this is good for Team Biden. And again, I, I'm going to make an argument. I'm not quite sure Grandma meant it the way a lot of people think. But I think this is backfiring. And I think this Angel Reese is kind of interesting. And I got to say, she's fearless in an entertaining way. And maybe, just maybe, you think she's making a really good point. No, how dare you invite them? We know why you're inviting them. Why would you diss us? You invited them, and we all know why you're inviting them, old white lady, old white man, yeah, who acted as if he watched the game. He slept at that game, and you know it. So, I, is this thing backfiring on them? Yeah, yeah. So... That part publicly can't feel good. There, uh, somebody at the White House is now trying to backpedal and spin this. But I don't think this helps. Uh, no, it does not mean the lovable, indicted Republican nominee, he is not going to steal the young female vote. Let's be very clear. That's not happening. He is sure the heck, unless you really want to bet a good, good bottle of wine on this, he is sure the heck not going to steal. This is the indicted Republican nominee. He is not going to steal the young female black vote. That I can almost promise. No, I'll promise you. That one I'm okay with. So now, even though the White House has backed away from inviting both, which is goofy at best, inviting both teams is goofy at best. And I do see an argument that says, man, that is offensive. It's offensive. I didn't see the race part, but I do think it's offensive in another way, even coming from a white guy in West from West Austin. Is it enough to say we're not coming? Let me turn this around on all of you. Because you've got, you got to sort of put a put the issues in, in boxes here. So you've got the issue of her inviting both. You do that whatever you want. Okay? You can take that one first. Then, Angel Reese's reaction, are you kidding, old lady? No. <laughs> We're not coming. We're going to go to the Obamas instead. There's another box for you. Do with that one whatever you want as well. I mean, do you agree in saying, you know what, we're not coming? Do you agree with her when she says, and by the way, she is well on her way to social media stardom. Okay. And all, by the way, she's on her way to social media stardom, is not seemingly afraid of it, but she's going to get all the baggage that comes with it. And there's a lot. But she's not backing away. I don't think she disappears anytime soon. And for that, I think it's pretty cool. And I think she's pretty fearless. And I do think she makes legitimate points. That said, would you, if you were her, be offended by this? Would you? In what ways would you be offended by this? I know a few ways that I would be offended by this. But what ways would you be offended by this? Would you say no? Would you say no? Should anybody ever say no to going to the White House? This is not a new issue, by the way. There's plenty of teams. I believe the, the Golden State Warriors said no while Trump was in office, or some of them did. I can't even remember now. It's kind of a cheesy exercise. It's been around for a long time. Um, but there have been people periodically over, over time that have said no for a variety of reasons. So this is a new one. Would you say no? If you're part of the team, would you say no? The coach has already said she's going. But that doesn't mean all the players have to go. Now, to be fair, you do know that the Bidens did not invite both UConn and San Diego State. That was the men's final. Two states Joe is going to win. He didn't invite both of them. Now, they're going to invite UConn for certain, but he didn't invite both of them. The Bidens, the Bidens didn't invite the Chiefs and the Eagles from the Super Bowl. Uh, so my, I'm offended by this. I would be offended by this. 
if I were a female athlete, because the sound of this, the grandma sound of this, the old timey sound of this is it's pretty little league to say to female athletes. This is my takeaway, because I, again, didn't see the race issue. And I think some people do. And I get it. But I tell you, when you think about this, think about how offensive that is. Oh, you girls all played so hard, right? It's like, here's what this sounds like to me. It's very Little League-like. It's a very Little League perspective of women's sports. I'm not saying she's the devil and has any... I don't think she means it badly at all. I think she's that disconnected. I think at her time, women didn't really play sports. But this is really cute that they're now playing sports. And so I took this as, you girls tried so hard, come get a participation ribbon. We have some juice boxes for you. That's the way I take this. And it's not that far off because they're both really old. That's why he was elected. That's why he'll get elected again over the other old guy. That's the way I take it. Is It's very... It's a, it's, I don't think it is intentional, but I do think it is a byproduct of an old-timey way of looking at women's sports. And I don't blame white or black, some female athletes saying, what do you mean? You don't do this with the guys? That's, that's my argument. That she didn't mean anything racial. I don't think. You might. She didn't mean, she meant it as a compliment. But it comes off as, well, all the girls try hard. Look, look, we've got over here, girls. We've got some cookies. We've got a juice box. Joe's in a sweater. He's having some soup right now, but he's going to talk to you also. That's the way I take this. You just don't get it. It's a grandparents-like gesture that I think is blowing up in their face. I, I do. And I have to give props to Angel Reese for bringing it up. Because I wasn't even that offended. As a guy, I wasn't even that offended. I've watched zero women's basketball last year. It's not intentional. I just don't care. But I wasn't offended until I started thinking it through. And now I'm pretty offended by the fact that some old lady suggests both teams could come because these girls just try hard. Yeah, that's it. Look at that. ESPN is reporting. (laughs) Jill Biden's press secretary is walking back the first lady's suggestion that runner-up Iowa should join NCAA women's basketball champion LSU for a visit to the White House. It didn't sit well with Tiger star Angel Reese. During her appearance on the Paper Route podcast, what did I tell you? She is a, she's launched as a social media star, but man, it's got package. That's the that's what I complained about yesterday is I'm not quite sure she knows exactly how to handle the baggage. But here we go. The Paper Route podcast. Reese said the Tigers should celebrate their title with former President Barack Obama and former First Lady Michelle Obama rather than Joe and Jill Biden. Ouch. Grandma and granddad. Jill Biden had praised Iowa's sportsmanship (laughs) and congratulated both teams. She also said that as a part as part of the long-standing tradition of having champions visit the White House, Iowa should come as well, quote, because they played such a good game. They lost by 17. Kids, come over and have some juice boxes. You girls have tried so hard. Now let's go cheer on the boys team. That's the way I hear this. Have you heard any references to soup? I keep I'm just stuck on, I feel like I'm just going, you know, your grandmother's house smelled clean all the time. I just feel like there's cookies and soup. It just feels old. I feel like there's a bird feeder in this picture somehow. Reese called Jill Biden's suggestion a, quote, joke. Oh, she tweeted about it with laughing emojis. Joe Biden invited LSU and men's champion UConn to the White House with no mention of Iowa. A spokesperson for Jill Biden said the first lady had meant no disrespect to LSU and that her comments were intended to applaud the historic game in all female athletes. How about this for a scramble? I'm not going to lie to you. I don't accept the apology because of you said what you said. I said what I said. And like, you can't go back on certain things you say, Reese said on the podcast. I mean, you felt like they should have come because of sportsmanship, right? They can have that spotlight. Well, we're going to go to the Obamas. We'll see Michelle. We'll see Barack. 
LSU's coach said she would be going to the White House, and she had received an invitation. All right, here you go. Here comes fearless Angel Reese. If we were to lose... She's got a point. Listen to her. She's got, she got a point. If we were to lose, we would not be getting invited to the White House. I remember she made a comment about both teams should be invited because of a sportsmanship. And I'm like, are you saying that because of what I did? Stuff like that. It bothers me because you're a woman at the end of the day. Well, not at the end of the day. I'm sure she's a woman at the beginning of the day. But okay. White, black, it doesn't matter. You're a woman. You're supposed to be standing behind us before anything. Okay, I mean, I, I I do, again, to cut Jill Biden some slack, I think this is more about just the two of them being old and out of touch rather than it being racial. I think to her, it's like her first time maybe to pay it. Oh, girls play sports now? Really? Oh, that's cute. That's what I took. But said Cedric Golden said it yesterday. I mean, he snapped at me in a perfect way and said, oh, yeah, you think they... You think it's a coincidence the old people invited all the white girls from Iowa? Really? Yeah, it's a fair point. So I get her point. I get Angel Reese's point. I do. I can see it. I don't know if you can see mine that this is that Jill, I assume Jill Biden seems to be a decent person. Okay? She does. Seems to be a decent person. I, I find it hard to believe that uh, she meant it racially, but her perspective, I think, is showing. So... Is it about race? I think it was less about race and more about taking the women's game less seriously, less legitimate, less important. I think, again, this is a sign that the Bidens are out of touch, just like everybody that's, you know, you are going to go ahead and have an election with the two oldest presidents of all time. You know that, right, America? You do know that. Again, I think it's a sign they're out of touch. She seems genuine and decent. So I took it as a grandma gesture, probably not a racial one. But can you see where Angel Reese is coming from? Now, this part is also back to you. I'm, I'm betting the Bidens would like this to go away. I don't think Angel Reese is going to let it go away. And when they do go to the White House, do or don't go to the White House, it's, it's going to be a deal. Uh, so this one's got legs for a while. Not that the indicted Republican nominee is going to take it and run with it either. Now, he's not going to touch this. But... Your take on saying, no, we're not coming to the White House. I mean, just your take in general. I mean, I've heard people debate this a long time, that if you're invited to the White House, you should go no matter who was there. I've heard people debate that. Uh, would you say no? Do you think teams and athletes should say no? College athletes say no. Would you say no to a White House visit? Whether it was the old Bidens or the Trumps or, well, it's those two. Yeah. Now, how about this? Have you thought about this other side? I mean, this is Jill and Joe Biden. These are your grandparents meeting you at the door by the bird feeder. He's in a sweater. They're having dinner at 530, right? Imagine. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the epic back and forth if this were the Trump administration? He wouldn't invite LSU. He'd go ahead and buy the white girls from Iowa and not feel badly about it. Can you imagine his take on Angel Reese, if he wasn't preoccupied telling the world how badly he's getting screwed over right now, do you not think he wouldn't weigh in on this? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? They would be going at it. They may still. Once he gets bored enough where he can find out about this and he starts cracking on uh, the Biden family, look out. He, he would invite only the white girls from Iowa. He wouldn't care. Could you imagine? It's bad enough. The blowback is enough now that it's the old Bidens v. Angel Reese. Can you imagine if it were Trump v. Angel Reese? 